15 love. Thirty love. Be fascinating to know, wouldn't it? In terms of Marion Vider, how they're trying to get him to compartmentalize this Jimmy because effectively we talk about one match at a time all the time in tennis, but it's even more valid, you feel, for Djokovic right now. Yeah, it's one point at a time for Djokovic. He's he's got to forget any oh. sort of outside influence, what this means. It's just easier said than done. A lot of players have faltered when they're sort of going for history. Serena Williams comes to mind when she lost to Roberta Vinci. Mm -hmm. 14. She had an opportunity to win a calendar year slam in the semifinals with Flavia Panetta in the finals. When, when it was in that position, you thought, it's over. She's yeah. got it. And yeah. It affected her. We'll see if it affects Djokovic as this tournament goes on. He's not affected in the first game, at least. Fourteen, fifteen. The strange reaction after missing the first serve. I don't know the sun. Maybe the toss was directly into the sun, but he sort of took a little extra time before hitting that second serve. Hit it 115 miles an hour through in a double fault. First day match, isn't it? I believe. Yes. I think beaten Rune and a Greek sport, both in the night session. Game of Djokovic. First game. Yeah. Yeah. He's again walking, covering his eyes. I don't know if that's... I haven't seen the sun yet in this tournament. I'm shocked. I can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Does wear contact lenses, doesn't he? Yeah. Second time these two have played in the space of four weeks. Djokovic able to brush Nishikuri aside in Tokyo at the Olympic Games. A match that was barely an hour. You yeah, know, this actually feels like, I know it sounds ridiculous, a three out of five set match, but somewhat important game for Nishikori. He played a horrible first game. He just missed return of serves, one of the better returners, and those serves weren't so big that he okay, shouldn't have been able to put him in play. And now, after losing two in love, you need to get on the board in a hurry or you can start having nightmare flashbacks about that quick beating that he took. Law 15. They're just breaking down their matchups in recent times. You know, we mentioned the fact it's 16 in a row, but if you look at how often Djokovic has broken the Nishikori serve, it is remarkable how good and adept he's been at getting Nishikori defending. A few of those this afternoon. That point was actually almost a bad sign to me. 15 on. From for Nishikori because Djokovic in his first two rounds was not solid. And his upper body was flopping around as he was hitting ground strokes. He's making a lot of backhand errors. I know he just missed a backhand there, but it took a whole heck of a lot of nice shots before Djokovic missed one there. If he's playing that solidly today, it's difficult for Nishikori.
Perfectly balanced. Djokovic on that ball and that 15, point. 15, 15. And it's just so much for Nishikori. He has to win every rally. His serve isn't good enough against Djokovic to sort of get too many free points. It's been the biggest part of his game that has let him down, isn't it? The serve in terms of holding it up against some of his peers consistently. through the world number one. There's Max Mirny, the man you know pretty well, Jimmy. Max Mirny and Michael Chang right in front of him. So both of his coaches, they both coach him. It's Max sort of every day, and Michael Chang as well, coming to quite a few of the events, but not really their day-to-day -day practicing. Hmm. Shikori's really begging for that ace to be called good. Unfortunately for him, it wasn't the linesman who made the call. It was the machine. There's no overrule coming. In the last four meetings, 13, which is 14. 11 sets in all, Djokovic has broken him 20 times in the last 11 sets they've played. He's had his number. Well, he's got a couple of break chances. That was the first backhand. Did you see the backhand Djokovic just mi missed? Mm -hmm. That's what he's been doing when he hasn't played well, sort of falling away. Not on balance. One break point save. Nishikori really, as I said, needs this game. as he saves the second of the break points. That was brilliant by everybody. This was a great drop shot. I didn't think Djokovic could get there, but of course it's Djokovic. And not Deuce. only does he get there, he hits a pretty good shot off of it. And Shikori did a good job staying calm, making the half volley and then putting away that simple volley. And you've got to feel, Jimmy, as you say, these opening four or five games are crucial for Nishikori. This guy's beaten, battered by Djokovic for the last couple of years. They're crucial for him. And if he has seen Djokovic matches, he will know in this tournament that he's vulnerable a little bit on the mental side. So if you can create a little doubt, you're going to have a chance. He's, his level Nishikori. will drop. So this is a huge comeback game if Nishikori can pull it off and hold serve here from 1540 down. He does just that. Game Nishikori. An early boost. One for game the Japanese. For set. As Jimmy was saying, this has been his best major by a distance. Three semi-finals here. He has made the quarters of all four majors, Nishikori. You know, let's not forget that very much an all-court player. You know, the problem for him has been that his serve just weak enough that he couldn't beat the big four. Mm. 
to get past the quarterfinals at most events for whatever reason here at the US Open. He's done it a couple of times or his draw has opened up for him. Yeah, that match he played in the semis here that year to beat this guy was arguably perhaps one of the best matches of his career. Yeah, you could probably get rid of the word arguably in there and yeah, I think it was the best. There you go, off balance back in again from Djokovic. Just Love one team. game in where he, he's been dominating and that's the sign that he's feeling a little tension and a little pressure. Love it. Very aggressive second, wasn't it? 116 miles an hour. He's had some double faulting issues the first couple of rounds, just a little bit, so that's the sign. That's the Zverev sign to me. You either throw in the 63 mile an hour flutter ball because you're nervous, or you just go ahead and go big twice. He went big. Yeah, off balance back in again. It's an incredible. Love Coming into this match, I actually thought Nishikori has an even chance of winning the match because of what I've seen the first two rounds. Up until the first serve hold at Love in the 1540, I thought, what, was I crazy? But, <laughs> but I'm back to thinking Nishikori has an even chance because Djokovic isn't himself. Nishikori has to recognize it, make returns. Make him play. That was a 120 mile an hour serve, but sort of in the slot. You got to put that one back. Well, he took the second serve on, and it paid dividends. Kei Nishikori off to the perfect start Nishikori here on Arthur Ashe. He gets the early break. Yeah, it had never Love been a team. natural sort of motion, and it still isn't. It's not that free-flowing throwing motion that you'd like with the right arm. Fifteen even by his standards. Eight unforced errors, just a couple of games in. Thirteen, fifteen. If Djokovic, you can see him sort of shaking his arms out. If he could just get in the moment, in the moment I mean this next point, as you were documenting, he breaks Nishikori with ease. So one break lead is not a big deal. He's just got to play each point and not have any other thoughts. You almost sense the way he's playing that he's thinking about, I just need five more matches. He can't think that way. 
Let second service. It doesn't help that all of us in the press keep saying it. There's plenty of reminders Two down, out there. Yeah, five to go. Everyone's, everyone says it. Yeah. Even when he does his interviews after the match. Fourteen, fifteen. Fascinating, though, isn't it? Because you talk about Roger and Rafa, obviously the comparisons. They didn't even get to two in a calendar, Jimmy. They didn't get. They didn't. Neither of those two players won Australia and the French back to back. Here's a guy who's sitting on three. Just for some context. Game Nishikori. Nishikori leads three games to one. First set. That seems an interesting stat to me just because Rafa won the French every single year for the last two decades almost, and he has won a couple of Australians, but. Fifteen love. Djokovic wins the point, but has a little bit of a discussion with Marion Vida there after the point in a somewhat angry manner. Mm -hmm. Thirty love. Yeah, I'm conscious to confirm what we were talking about. Nadal, of course, only won the one Australian Open, 09. Again, Djokovic. Nishikori, though, in good shape so far here, 3 2. Nishikori leads three games to two, first set. Does he have it in him to be a top ten player again one day? Love. Okay. In your opinion? I mean he has one thing going for him and that is belief. He does think of himself as a top 10 player, and that's a good percentage of the battle. He does have the game. Can he stay healthy for an entire year, the way he plays and the way he goes through long matches and has to grind? You know, maybe not at his age. Fifteen on. I've always found it, it's so much of a mental and physical strain when you're not a server that gets free points. So you have to win your four points on your serve every game yep. to hold serve throughout an entire tournament. It just it takes its toll. He does it as well as anybody. Well, he defended the net pretty well there, but ultimately, Djokovic having the final say. Yeah, that's a great Fetzer. first pass. A good little low volley. But eventually, too much court, too much time for Djokovic. Let for service. Let 
His signature shot. 30 all. Backhand down the line hits it as well as anyone. That's what he did to Djokovic in that 2014 semifinal. He actually out backhand down the line Djokovic. They both hit that shot really well. Nishikori was willing to pull the trigger a little more often than Djokovic. Does the speed of the court 40, somewhat play into Nishikori's hands here or in terms of just it is quick out there? Jimmy, does that help Nishikori in the big picture in this matchup? It does because it gives his serve a little more, a little more oomph. And he is a player that takes the ground strokes very early and does not mind sort of speed of court. It'll help him in some ways where... I don't think it would normally bother Djokovic to have a quick court either, don't get me wrong. It's just that Djokovic isn't confident right now. And when you're not confident, you want more time. Yeah, USTA opting for the lake hold surface here. It was put down for the first time, I believe, last year. Speaking to a few coaches, I'm sure you have as well, that one thing I've been told is that the, this court is just as quick as some of the outside courts, which isn't always the case. Djokovic backhand, which is normally so reliable, has let him down. 11 unforced errors now. Not all of them on the backhand, but quite a few of those 11. Another long, drawn-out service game for Nishikori. Not that surprising, as his service games always have some drama to them. Oof. Advantage, Nishikori. Oli van Linduk, who is the agent for K, has been throughout the course of his career. And he's broken a lot of good deals. K's way. Hot property. Let second service. Strike of the match so far. Yes. Another long, drawn-out service game for Nishikori. And again, when you see these kind of points, you recognize why Djokovic has been able to beat Nishikori so comfortably. He's just got that little extra gear of pop when he needs it on the ground strokes and on the serve.
Uh, advantage, Djokovic. Obviously going to be very key how he defends his second serve today because that's an area that in previous matchups Djokovic has taken advantage of. So far it doesn't matter if it's first or second serve. It's 7 for 12 on both. Juice. And that's exactly what you're talking about, isn't it, in terms of the speed of the court? Because, yes, that was very accurate, but 111 miles an hour, just going to gain a little bit more on this sort of court. It, 111 normally does not get by Djokovic. I don't care how well you place it. Term was there to be taken on. Advantage. And Shikori, Shikori has done just that. Two-hander of the world, number one, lets him down once again. And Nishikori, Nishikori comes through a testing game. Four games to two, first set. Has played 27 points on serve, though, for his three holds. 27 to 14. And that includes a break of serve, by the way. That's the one... Caveat, he does have the lead. Nishikori's winning all the important points so far. Fifty love. It's strange watching Djokovic this, this last couple of matches because shots like that and points like that, you see the brilliance. It was a half volley couple of half volleys that he handled perfectly. But there's a few just routine shots that he's falling off balance for and it's sort of a rally ball situation that you're not accustomed to seeing from him. Second serve has been a little bit shaky. And give Nishikori credit there. He's came right out of the gates attacking second serve, letting Djokovic know. I've seen, seen tape of the last couple of matches. Your second serve hasn't been great. Sophie should have used the slice under pressure there. Not a shot you see him go to too often. No. He likes to get his feet there and hit the two-hander. Nishikori, Djokovic was in command of that point from the start, really. Nishikori never really got his feet underneath him for any shot. Forty, fifteen. 15 stuff from this man it really is 40 30 getting up the court taking time away when the opportunity presents itself you know what's interesting as you look at the stats 
Nishikori's only won seven points on Djokovic's serve. Three of them were double faults. But he's got a break. As always in this sport, it's not how many you win, it's the ones you win. New balls, please. Djokovic down the break four games to three in this opening set. set here on Ash. Law 15. Context as well on that. Mentioning that eight different players have won here in the same period of time at the other three majors, only four different players have won each of the other three majors. So there's been a greater variety of winners here in New York in recent times. Love that. Corey is doing a good job of playing aggressively when he gets a look. So he's under five shots rallies. He's getting the better of Djokovic. That was another one you just saw there. He's also doing a good job in the longest of rallies. So I don't know what that tells me for Nishikori. Does he want to finish the points quickly or does he want to get into a long drawn out affair? This first set might become a little more drawn out if Djokovic can take advantage of one of these two opportunities. did it. A poor game from Nishikori. Again, I think that's the scar tissue set. of all the losses that Nishikori has had that contributed to losing serve there. Bit he's of baggage. Gotta, yeah, he's just got to recognize if I play super solid in this match, Djokovic until he shows me he's got enough confidence, super solid might be just good enough. But maybe that break back and the way it happened is going to allow Djokovic to sort of bring back those memories of, wait, when I play Nishikori, I, I dominate. Yeah, 16 straight wins, just a reminder. Against the Japanese. Forty love. Yeah, there's actually only one player that he's got more in terms of wins in a row, and that's Gael Monfils. Oh, he has 17 straight victories against. Well, Monfils, I don't believe, has any wins against Djokovic, where at least Nishikori has, he actually has two. Yeah. But they were all prior to 2014. 
First time we've seen Djokovic employ that. 14-15. Maybe the last for a while after the result. Good game. And he's in front is the world number one. It's been a little Djokovic while. Leads five games to four. Djokovic up 5 4. So a break a piece. A little additional pressure, though, on the 31 year old here. Led for service. Fifteen love. That point illustrates why love. it's been so difficult for Nishikori. He has his first serve is just a vehicle in this match, especially against Djokovic, to start the point on even terms. And so he's made 20 first serves. He's won 10 of the points. Mm -hmm. It's not giving him an edge in the rally. That one just did. 30-15. You look at his career record, Jimmy. First serve points one Nishikori. It's 70%, which on the face of it's a good number, but you've obviously got to make comparisons with the best, and it's nowhere near some of those top guys. No, and what that is, says is that he's very good once the rallies on even terms. He's probably 70% better than everybody else, but he's not 70% better than Djokovic when they start on even terms. I said that as soon as I brought the point up, he's at two pretty nice serves, gotten free points out of it, and gotten himself a couple of game points to keep this first set alive. Fourteen thirty. Interestingly, the, arguably the best year of his career. We talked about how well he played here in 2014. He was actually that year on hard court up at 75%. So. Again, just a little indication of where things were just a little better back then. Game, Shikori. Brought some good stuff out here, though. And he's all square again in this opening set. Five games all, first set. And it's been a vehicle for the plus one shot, hasn't it? And for Nishikori, that's what he's been trying to get the most out of. Yes, but it's not a vehicle against Djokovic, really, for the plus one, because Djokovic's return is deep and center when he's playing well, and it just doesn't give you... It just gives you an avenue to start a rally, and that's... Look, there's a reason Djokovic has won 20 majors and perhaps on his way to a Grand Slam. I think that was Yoshihito Nishioka, wasn't it? In the corner there, we just got a shot off. Love. The last couple of games, Djokovic has sort of found his footing on the ground strokes, and you can see that he's just got a little more power, a little more depth. He eventually gains control of these rallies. It's too bad because a great return from Nishikori. He actually had the opportunity to step up, but somehow, I don't know if it was a bad bounce, he misjudged the forehand. Oh, 
40 love. Serve starting to fire with a little more potency. Game Djokovic. And as a result, the service games are being ticked off pretty quickly. Djokovic, leads Djokovic six games to maintains five, the lead. First set. Very love. well executed. There's not so many players today that are comfortable at the net, and Nishikori is one of them. Excellent volleyer, covers the net well. He doesn't have long arms to cover the net. It's just quick and good instincts, good anticipation when he gets up there. Five of six when he's come up to the net today. Well, before this game started, I would have thought this might not be a comfortable game for Nishikori. He's had so few on his own serve. Serving to stay in the set again. All the baggage of having been beaten 16 times in a row from Djokovic, but he's done a good job to get to 40 love. Game, and Nishikori. Oh. Really is bucking the trend. Of the opening set. Six games all, first set. Djokovic's tiebreak tie record this season, 10 and 10, of course, in contrast to last year where he was a remarkable 15 and 2 in tiebreaks over the course of 2020. He's already lost one here this year, the one set that he did lose to Thank you. Ugarun. And it was a shaky tiebreak. Double faults and missed backhands. Let for service. Let for service. Frustration from Djokovic because that did seem as though it was well over the net, number one. It was another very good serve. He's had two great serves. And they only have two tennis balls. There's one of them in the front row in the cup. <laughs> wow. Zero, Djokovic.
Well, a high caliber exchange. And once again, Djokovic just not slightly off balance off the two hander. To Even though that entire rally was Djokovic's advantage, Michigan. it's always that looked like a drill that you do sometimes. I go cross court, you go down the line. And the problem is, you're not the down the line guy almost always loses that rally. That time, Shikori found a way to steal it. He finally changed the pattern. Too old. Over half of Djokovic's first serves have been unreturned in the tournament so far. It's amazing because it's not huge on the miles per hour, but he is hitting his spots awfully well on the first serve. I still don't trust his second serve. It's just Nishikori hasn't had a look at one yet in this tie break. Three, two. Djokovic. Marian Vider is coach of many, many years on the left hand side in the green. Milana Manovic next to him, a physio who also has been on board with Djokovic almost since he first came onto the tour. Necessarily a ball you'd expect Djokovic to make the error off. I'm not even sure if that counted as an unforced error, but it was for Djokovic. I mean, it was a nice forehand that Ishikori hit, but it's not the kind, as you said, that would normally cause much angst for Djokovic. Confirmation of their respective tiebreak records this year. Both of these players right now are having sort of mental demons they're trying to overcome. For Nishikori, it's the 16 straight matches that Djokovic has beaten him. That's not easy to overcome. For Djokovic, it's just that he has not played confidently, and this is a pressure moment. He hasn't faced many in the tournament. Hasn't faced that many in the year. did for the world number one. After Four, a three. sort of down the middle Nishikori. longish rally, all of a sudden Nishikori found that angle. And now we're really at that sort of crunch time in the tie break. I would enjoy seeing a second serve and seeing how Djokovic deals with it. He's to this point, the tie break served beautifully. Oh. 
was he right to take it on? No, not with what we've seen in the match so far. The long rallies have been won by Nishikori. Let's. That was very neutral, sort of part of the. Everybody was on even terms. Keep the rally going if you're Nishikori. Let for service. Djokovic fell it right back to him. Great play Five, coming forward, four. and I have no idea Nishikori. why he went back right to where Nishikori was standing. I don't think as fast as Nishikori is, he could have run down that volley into the open court. But once he did feed it right to him, no mistakes from Nishikori. Beautiful lob, and now it's on his racket. To secure the first set. Thank you. Djokovic the first to blink. Six. Surprisingly four. so. Nishikori. A two-hander that is forged in steel. Has looked a little more brittle at times today. Two set points for Kane Nishikori. The man from Japan takes the opening Seven set here on Arthur see. Ashe. 64 minutes, Nishikori, a set to the good. Fifteen love. Started in style. Played a lot of tennis this year, hasn't he? Played a fair bit, got on the road. Let's try and rebuild the ranking. Oh, it took him a little while to find his footing again after the long layoff. Help! 15 all. Points played at the start of this second set. Taking rally didn't quite have the end it deserved. Yeah, that was remarkable from both players. Djokovic early 15, in the rally, 15. crushing ground strokes, and then having to defend on an angle. I don't have any idea how Djokovic got that one back in play and followed it up with a perfect defensive lob, high and deep. Look at the slides out of each corner as well from Djokovic. It's been such a game changer, I kind of feel on our hard court. I don't know what you think, Jimmy, but. Just allowing. 
Some players to defend by sliding on a half. Well, and that. they can get out of that corner so quickly yeah. because they're they're stopped, they're stable. There's not that extra hop yeah. after you get to the corner. That little half step is the, all the difference. Devastating end as Nishikori builds on that opening set. First game, a bit of a set. statement game to me for Nishikori. He's not satisfied with having won that first set. Sometimes you win a set against someone that you've struggled with, and you can have a little bit of a whew, breather and get a little slow start to the second set. Nishikori played a nice first game because Djokovic actually came to play that game. So Djokovic's lack of confidence that he's shown in the tournament has caused him to have a very difficult matchup on his hands now. Yeah, post-Australia, Nishikori played in Rotterdam, made the quarters there, then Marseille, Dubai, Miami, Barcelona, played the entire clay court swing largely, then Halle, Wimbledon, has competed the majority of weeks this year that he's been capable of. thing in Nishikori's favor love. long term Jimmy is that he has had a lot of periods away from the game so even though he's 31 in terms of actual time on tour it's probably not been quite as much as some others who are 31. No, that's true he's had breaks but I don't know how enjoyable those injury sort of breaks oh. are yeah Love. Yeah, one of the longer rallies where Djokovic was able to stay balanced, stay in control of the rally throughout. Forty love. Djokovic. One game all. Good hold. Second set. On the world number one. Champion here in 2011, 2015, and also 2018. Five other finals, beaten in five finals here in his career.
15 and off. Forehead. A relatively deep position. He has enjoyed the better of the longer rallies so far. Nishikori has won 10 of the 14 rallies that have gone beyond nine. But it feels as though Djokovic is starting to, starting to feel a little more comfortable in those rallies in these first two games of the second. Yeah, yeah. First two. Again, you can almost see it with his upper body. When Djokovic is right, he is so stable, so balanced. Even when he's pressed in the corners, he can stay balanced. When he's nervous, that's the one tell. His upper body starts, starts falling to left or right or backwards. Unfortunately for Nishikori, at the moment, Djokovic is fairly balanced on these ground strokes. And when he's that way, it's somewhat 15 devastating. Novak's wife. She didn't get the best seats in the house. Maybe she just switches sides and heckles Nishikori each <laughs> Stays on his side of the court. I'm just kidding. Uh, oh. One way to get fit, though. <laughs> Given the size of this stadium. Fifteen, fourteen. Just reduce the unforced errors. Keeping things a little tighter. As a consequence, he's got two break points. Just found himself out of position, didn't he? Looked as though he was going to come forwards. He was quite high up the court, but because he didn't get the width, he was left somewhat exposed. Responds with a roar of his own. He's the first to break as he looks to mount the comeback here in New set World number two. Please. When you first saw Novak, Jimmy, did you sense you were watching someone who could do what he's doing? 15 love. He had one thing that I think is very important as I as I mentioned, his confidence. And the first time I saw him, he made a quarterfinal at Rolling Garros as a youngster. Nice play there from Nishikori, taking a little time away from Djokovic. He lost to Rafa Nadal. 
at Roland Garros. Couple of sets. He was down two sets to love, reasonably close sets, and then defaulted. And after the match, I saw his interview, and he said, it's a shame, because I really felt as though I you know, could have won that. I was, and I, I thought, this guy's crazy or something, that he, he <laughs> <laughs> but he had that sort of internal true confidence. He believed it, and that's half the battle, if not even a little more than half the battle. And as it turns out, he's got a winning record against Federer. He's got a winning record against Nadal. And it seems inevitable that he's going to have more majors than both of those guys, too, even if it isn't this, 15, this 15. time. He's a guy who knows what it takes to win a major. Yeah, he, he, when you're 17, that's how easy it is for Michael Chang watching Nishikori. Although that was his only one. Family. I think that might be his daughter next to him. Just taking a guess. I know there are uh, a couple of girls. Oh. Wow. 15, 14. Problems here for Djokovic. Backing up on this second serve return, I think he should be applying some pressure coming forward. He looks like that. He was in good position yes. in the rally. Even after a pretty big second serve from Djokovic, he still had a good chance in Ishikori in that rally. The 15-40 point to me was the one where coming off a double fault, having another second serve, you know he's going to be safe with that second serve. And that was the one where Nishikori should have tried to be a little more aggressive. Opportunity here, though. Uh, advantage, Nishikori. Nishikori. Djokovic opted to let it go. And it was back on him in a flash. Look at that.
Thank you. Type of games become Jeez. somewhat pivotal when you have those opportunities. You're down a break in this set for Nishikori's got to continue keeping Djokovic feeling that little nagging doubt that he has shown throughout the first hour and a half of this match. Been the second uh, serve that he's gone to a lot over Nishikori. recent years. That one out wide on the juice, but Nishikori was waiting for it. on the break points in this second set now. As Jimmy was saying, you feel the significance of this game is growing point by point. Advantage. Strange looking return that time from Nishikori because that serve 111 miles an hour, not particularly well placed. For whatever reason, Nishikori wasn't able to change grips. He had the backhand grip, so he had to just try to block the return. Chance for Djokovic to sort of win one of these important, drawn out games. Game. He does just that, Jokovic. and he does so with an excellent volley. He was dipping quickly, but he was able to get some good purchase on it. Djokovic leads three games to one, second set. Fifteen love. Love that serve from Nishikori. That serve out wide. He's hitting it with very little pace, but it's got a lot of action short in the court. And if you make the return, he's got such a nice open court to hit to. Thirty love. Thirty-fifteen. 
doesn't dip into a whole lot. Djokovic leads play three games to two, him. second set. Close the First gap set, here in the second. Play. Djokovic with the break, 3-2. When you first saw Novak, Jimmy, did you sense you were watching someone who could do what he's doing? 15 love. He had one thing that I think is very important, as I as I mentioned, his confidence. And the first time I saw him, he made a quarterfinal at Rolling Garros as a youngster. Nice play there from Nishikori, taking a little time away from Djokovic. He lost to Rafa Nadal at Roland Garros. Couple of sets. He was down two sets to love, reasonably close sets, and then defaulted. And after the match, I saw his interview, and he said, it's a shame, because I really felt as though I you know, could have won that. I was, I thought, this guy's crazy or something. That he, he <laughs> <laughs> But he had that sort of internal, true confidence. He believed it, and that's half the battle, if not even a little more than half the battle. And as it turns out, he's got a winning record against Federer. He's got a winning record against Nadal. And it seems inevitable that he's going to have more majors than both of those guys, too, even if it isn't this, 15, this 15. time. He's a guy who knows what it takes to win a major. Yeah, he, he, when you're 17, that's how easy it is for Michael Chang watching Nishikori. Although that was his only one. Got a young family. I think that might be his daughter next to him. Just taking a guess. I know there are uh, a couple of girls. Oh. Wow. 15, 14. Problems here for Djokovic. Backing up on this second serve return, I think he should be applying some pressure coming forward. He looks like that. He was in good position yes. in the rally. Even after a pretty big second serve from Djokovic, he still had a good chance in Ishikori in that rally. The 15-40 point to me was the one where coming off a double fault, having another second serve, you know he's going to be safe with that second serve. And that was the one where Nishikori should have tried to be a little more aggressive. Here, though, 
Uh, advantage Nishikori. Nishikori. Djokovic opted to let it go. And it was back on him in a flash. Look at that. Thank you. These type of games become Deuce. somewhat pivotal when you have those opportunities down a break in this set for Nishikori's got to continue keeping Djokovic feeling that little nagging doubt that he has shown throughout the first hour and a half of this match. been the second uh, serve that he's gone to a lot over Nishikori. recent years. That one out wide on the juice, but Nishikori was waiting for it. on the break points in this second set now. As Jimmy was saying, you feel the significance of this game is growing point by point. Advantage. Strange looking return that time from Nishikori because that serve 111 miles an hour, not particularly well placed. For whatever reason, Nishikori wasn't able to change grips. He had the backhand grip, so he had to just try to block the return. Chance for Djokovic to sort of win one of these important drawn out games. Game. He does just that, and he does so with an excellent volley. 
He was dipping quickly, but he was able to get some good purchase on it. Djokovic leads three games to one, second set. Fifteen love. Love that serve from Nishikori. That serve out wide. He's hitting it with very little pace, but it's got a lot of action short in the court. And if you make the return, he's got such a nice open court to hit to. Thirty love. Forty fifteen. Doesn't dip into a whole lot. Djokovic leads play three games to two. Him. Second set. Close the First gap here in the Nishikori. second. Djokovic with the break. Three two. Time. So here on Arthur Ashe Stadium, good crowd. I would say it's uh, about three quarters full, if not more, today, Labor Day weekend. So the world number one with the break, 3 2. Law 15. I have to say, Nishikori, though. He's still not far off. Now had five break chances in Djokovic's last service game. Starts this game off with a beautiful angled backhand. <laughs> These two players really the backhand to backhand pattern has favored Nishikori as Djokovic has missed quite a few. That's 27 unforced errors in total for the match for Djokovic. Many of those have been from that backhand wing. Uh -huh. 
15 13. Though the unforced error statistician is fairly difficult on mm. Djokovic because that counted, that made 28, and that, that's a pretty good hard hit deep forehand to his backhand. Yeah, the lines aren't quite so definitive, are they? No, they're not. 15, 14. That was 29. That one I would agree with, I think, more. But when someone hits a 100-mile-an-hour forehand a foot from the baseline and you miss, that was somewhat forced in Thank my you. mind. Anyway, whatever it is, it's a couple break chances again for Nishikori. Back-to-back -back games where he's had 15-40. One shot that Djokovic, he's gotten far more free points off of his first serve than the Shikori. That looked like Djokovic, actually. That that backhand to backhand pattern. I thought, wow, this is it. Nishikori's going to get the break back, and he lost balance with the upper body. Advantage, Djokovic. First ace of the set. Game. Djokovic giving him a different look. Serbian four games to two. Seconds his way through another hold. Been a long time since Nishikori beat a top five player. Three years, in fact. Wow. It was actually Federer at the Tour Finals in 2018, the last time that the Japanese beat a top fiver. Oh. And in a major, you have to go back even further. The last time he beat a top five player at a major was here five years ago. That was when he beat Andy Murray. Off. Heck of a match that was. 7-5 in the fifth, four hours. You know, Djokovic does have sort of that innate confidence of, I'm very tough to beat in five sets. Three out of five sets, he's another guy that's won virtually one of the best percentages of winning fifth set matches. But he's playing Nishikori, who's also sort of the king of that. So that's not, he would know that stat. And so he's can't hang his hat on that quite as easily as he normally would. Thirty fifteen. 
inherently you go back to that match when Nishikori beat Murray. That's kind of been the problem for him. You know, when he went five sets with Murray in the quarterfinals here, then to go and back it up the next day physically was just too much of a challenge. And that was the theme, has been the theme, really, of his career, isn't it, Jimmy? Yeah, because a lot of times in the majors, he's five-setting it from first round on. He's come into this match with a five-setter in the last one, in his last round. 14-15. Mackie McDonald, he actually had to, after a two-set lead, he dropped a couple sets, to, again, padding the stats. First serve was 14, punished. 15. Well, I've said I like how he's hitting that slider out wide. That is an example of when the slider out wide doesn't get wide enough. And because it's not hit with a ton of pace, and Djokovic just crushed the return. Let for service. Corey keeps getting up 40-15 in games. He's had two straight return games with a 15-40 lead this time on his own serve and suddenly back to deuce. Nishikori. Let off for the Japanese. Both players having real issues closing out games in this set. Advantage Nishikori. Part of that is neither player, especially in issue court. They have to win rallies. They both rally very well. They both return very well. So the game's taken a long time. Six games, we've completed 40 minutes and counting. Boy, a series of poor points on game point for Nishikori, it was one great return that Djokovic hit at 40-15 in this game. Since then, double fault, couple first ball misses from Nishikori. Advantage Nishikori.
Beautiful. Let's see where Nishikori was when he struck it. He was some way back. Yeah, both of these players prefer to be up. They both can defend pretty well. They both move so well that they can play from behind the baseline, well behind. But obviously the goal is to be that man controlling. Controlling he was right there. Uh, Any time. Nishikori. Yeah, Nishikori can rope the ground strokes with pace, but he also does such a good job of taking time away with his court positioning. Did it beautifully there. Game point again for Nishikori. Djokovic leads for and game for three. 47 set. on the clock here. First set, Nishikori. Nishikori reducing the arrears in the second. 4 3. Talk about two good stories this year. 15 love. Karasov has beaten Djokovic this year. He lost to him in the semis of Australia, but he beat him in his. It was the. Novak Djokovic Open, and it might not be the name of the term, but it was at his club and his <laughs> in, in Serbia. Oh, yeah. It was run by his brother, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, what about Jensen Brooksby? What a rise it's been for Jensen. He just doesn't lose wherever he plays. <laughs> his futures will win the tournament, challengers, and now tour level. Finds a way to win. 40 love. Finally, sort of a comfortable service game for somebody in this match. To this point, at least, Djokovic, after having two straight difficult games, he's faced seven break points and saved them all in this second set. Game, Djokovic. Djokovic leads five games to three, second set. That little sequence of games, those last two games felt a little bit like a Medvedev match that we've seen here where Medvedev comes up to line, serves four bombs, holds serve in five seconds, and then you serve for 20 minutes as the game goes on forever. Eventually that pressure takes its toll on you. 15 love. Winner for Nishikori. Thirty love. Showed a little too much of it, didn't he, to Djokovic? 30 15. Was poorly executed, but as you said, Djokovic recognized Rapshaw was coming. Got there, and I'm a little surprised how deep in the court Nishikori was. Once he saw where the drop shot was, he needed to close a little bit quicker. It made for a tough shot. Just looking more you. and more balanced as this match is wearing on in those ground strokes. And you can see just how such depth, combination of depth, power. Eventually it's too much as he gets the Shikori on the defensive.
Full T, third T. Nice variety there from both players. Breaking out the slice backhand. And Nishikori finished it with. Yeah, not a shot you usually associate with him, is it particularly? No. Slice with side spin bouncing away right off the line. to hurt Nishikuri behind the second a little more yeah, consistently. Yes. For a while there, he was, Nishikori still is on the match above 50% of second serve points won, but in the last few minutes, it's, in this set, he's four of 12, Nishikori, and it's going to start taking its toll on him mentally. because he can't cope with those types of returns. I mean, that was not a bad serve. Granted, only 94 uh, miles an hour, but Djokovic. out wide. And Djokovic is starting to read and wait on that serve. Punish it, he's gotten himself another break chance. And to go with it, a set point. Second Pinpoint set. Pinpoint accuracy Djokovic. off the return. And we're all square here on the Arthur Ashe Stadium. Six games to three. The world one number one has responded impressively in set number two to take it 6 3. Fifteen love. Let for service. Second serve, but it feels as though Nishikori's sort of waiting on that second serve. That slider to the forehand is Djokovic hasn't hit many conventional kick second serves. 30 15. Again, that serve has been so accurate all tournament long for Djokovic. It's not huge on the radar gun, 121 miles an hour. It's, but it's placed so well. for the conventional kick second serve. It got treated harshly. Maybe that's one of the reasons Djokovic isn't hitting it often. Yeah, both feet off the ground, enabling him to come down on the ball a little more aggressively. The average first serve speed 14, today, 118 30. miles an hour for Djokovic.
game, Djokovic. First game, third set. It's funny, it's Djokovic, his top speed is right around 124, 100, it's 125 in this match. But he hits 121 to 124 consistently. Mm. You would think you wouldn't want to do that. I yep. think you'd want to mix that up more, have a few in the teens. Especially against a good return. Yeah, but it, it's still when he's hitting that serve, because it's so accurate, so close to the lines, that even the good returners are struggling with it. Not sure what's going on here. Recently became a father for the first time, didn't he? Just really a few days ago, as I believe during Cincinnati, he was at the academy, IMG Academy practicing, and I asked him if, are you a father yet? He said, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, of course, based down in Florida. Moved there from a young age. Greatly helped by the Marita Fund, wasn't he? Something you know very well, Jimmy. Yes, the Marita Fund sends a couple of top Japanese players to IMG Academy and then has a very... Very strict yearly goals. And if you do not reach the goal, you're out. You're back. And there's only a handful of players that have made it through that whole routine from about 12 or 13 till the pros. Kay was the first one. Mm -hmm. Yoshi Nishioka, who you mentioned earlier, he's another player that made it through the whole protocol. And funding provided for them by the Marita Fund, is it? Yes, by Mr. Marita, who's Sony founder. Djokovic once he gets you on a string like that. 15 50. Well, Shintaro Mokuzuki was a, a junior Wimbledon winner, if I'm correct, a couple of years ago. He's made it all the way through mm -hmm. as well. He's about to turn pro, okay, and once you turn pro, you're out of the Marita Fund, okay. And, and he's you actually you're supposed to, if you make top hundred, you pay back. And Mokuzuki's progress is going how? Thirty uh, I would say medium simply because COVID hit. Mm. He'd won with Junior Wimbledon, COVID hit as he's trying to make it on the tour and it's just, there hasn't been that many tournaments for a while and it's difficult on that Futures mm -hmm. Challengers. Ranked in the 400s on the ATP. 30, okay. 40. Problems mounting. Or Nishikori here. Problem for Nishikori is Djokovic doesn't seem as though he's feeling that pressure that he was feeling early in this match. He's starting to gain confidence. Brilliant stuff. It's a knockdown for Nishikori. Juice. Can't believe how close Djokovic got to that ball. And tried to put on the brakes and almost put them on too strongly. Oh. 
Advantage Nishikori. It's getting harder and harder to figure out how Nishikori is going to be able to hang in this match with the kind of pressure his service games are under. Been broken now three times. Use that change up very effectively today. Nishikori. I like the serve, as I've been mentioning. It's just a little dangerous because when he hasn't hit it perfectly, Djokovic is able to get control of the point. Both players with identical records getting up to the net. It feels as though most of Djokovic's net work has been done off of a Nishikori drop shot, however. Nishikori coming in more on his own volition, and that was another beauty. And a very significant hold for him at the start of this third One set. One game all, third set. Won his first title as an 18-year-old, did Nishikori, down at Delray Beach, not too far away from your part of the world there, Jimmy. I remember that. I interviewed him after the match. I was commentating. Beat James Blake in the final. He was a 244th ranked qualifier. Yeah. Take a seat, please, boys. Thank you. Are the youngsters? My position there. A lot of 15. First service. Nishikori was absolutely waiting on that serve, and maybe because instead of 122 miles an hour like normal, it was 119, and he was just a smidge in front, which caused him to pull it just wide. So on his face, he was there for that. That's always frustrating. Thirty fifteen. Uh, Nishi Corey just sort of bent down, grabbed his knees, flexing his legs. Maybe it's the strap, but again, we've documented how many injuries he's had. Oh. Well, he has ripped the ball in this game, hasn't he? 14, yelling 15. at himself because the line was wide open and instead of going down the line, it's his favorite shot really on the backhand. He decided to crack another one almost right at Djokovic.
use. Well, a couple of strange shots from Djokovic. Not really an unforced error because that return was taken very early by Nishikori. Took some time away, but the point before Djokovic missed one of those routine rally balls that he hasn't been missing as much as his matches wore on. So we'll see if he's feeling that little bit of tension again. Second serve now. This is where it shows up in general. Second serves and a couple of backhands. Oh. Got to do a better job than that if you're Nishikori testing it. Advantage. Testing the nerve. That Djokovic. was a bad error from as far behind the baseline as he was. Get the ball in play. Well, this set in keeping with the previous two has been lengthy, 20 minutes already for these opening two and a half games. It's Djokovic that's able to close it out. New balls, please. As we stay on Djokovic serve. Djokovic leads two games the world to one, number one set. in front. One set all. 2 1. Fifteen thirty. Let second service. Fifteen fourteen. Well, the double faults put him in trouble. Last couple of points, the pressure was on. Yeah, this is where he. Desperately use a couple of big serves somehow, get the edge in the point or even a free point. Beautifully done there. Only 106 13, miles an hour 14. on the serve, but placed well enough that he got the short reply. Michael Chang. Very intense when he comes. He does come to the academy occasionally to coach. Try to, you know, we played against each other, trying to talk to him a little. He's. Does his own thing. Well, he's. I'm concentrating on Kay. Pipe down without saying it. <laughs> Body language tells you. Yeah. Pressure proved to be too much. And the 
the world number one. Djokovic leads. Gets the first break of the third. third set. Do head to usopen.org if you haven't already. Lots to see there. Do download the app as well. You can track the latest scores, get the highlights. Plenty of news, results, schedules. Available in the App Store and the Google Play Store. 15 love. This might have been just the kind of match Djokovic sort of needed to get himself feeling like Novak Djokovic again. Did not play great first two rounds. Looked vulnerable in the first set. And eventually dropped the first set to Nishikori, but starting to look more and more confident as th this match is wearing on. And Nishikori, you get the sense, is going to have to come up with sort of something special. Redline it a little bit and hope he can shake Djokovic's confidence again. You know Djokovic is starting to get confident when he's throwing serving volley in and getting to the net Full and he's starting to say, oh yeah, I beat you 16 times in a row. I'm okay. Shikori fires one back at him. 40, 15. That's what I'm talking about from Nishikori. That's that's redlining it. He's gonna have to hit the ground strokes slightly bigger than his normal rally ball. Normally when you do that, you can have moments difficult to win a match, however, if you're having to play a little above your comfort zone. Game Djokovic. So Novak Djokovic, Djokovic forges further ahead one, here in set, set number three. Set it's 4-1 with the break. Fifteen love. Certainly in the conversation, this guy is one of the best players not to have won a major, isn't he? Yeah, he's in that conversation. Do you think physically if he had have been a little stronger, and that's obviously a, a big if, it may have happened for him? Yes, but I don't know if stronger, it's just... Robust. Yeah, I, I feel as though the game has gotten to the point where if you don't have a serve that allows you to sort of get some easy points, mm. Get an edge in the rallies yep. that it's just it's so difficult to win seven matches mm -hmm. against this type of competition in three out of five sets. It's so physical. Mm -hmm. And that's he just never had that serve. I mean, having said that, 14, 15. Actually, Nadal does get free points with his serve, even though it's not that big. Players sort of struggle with maybe the leftiness. Yep. It's got to be an element to it, isn't it? Watch out. That was one half volley that I would attempt to 40, guess 50. wrong after hitting it because I, didn't, I wouldn't want to be in front of whatever the next ball was coming. Just this high short floater. Yeah, I feel like since Max has been charged, he's definitely seen me, uh, his charge come forwards more, whether that's can't be a coincidence. Ah! 
That is Game. definitely not Nishikori. a coincidence. When they first start practicing together, they were doing Djokovic leads doubles four games drills to two. at times. And Third I was set. thinking, what? I'm not sure he's trying to make a doubles career out of things, but it was just an effort to get him coming forward and comfortable with the volleys. And he is very comfortable up at the net. You can see it now. And maybe that's the element he's going to have to bring because from the baseline, if Djokovic is at his best, it's too good. Fifteen love. Just lost six points on serve in this set. The world number one. Let for service. Let for service. Thirty love. Let for service. Forty love. Just showed a stat on the big board, both players serving at sixty seven percent first serve percentage. The difference is Djokovic able to make far more returns than Nishikori when he does get that first serve in. I don't think I saw a sorry there from Nishikori. That's, let's take another look. Crushed a couple of forehands. The let court double dribbler. I'm fine doing away with the sorry, by the way. No one's actually sorry. to apologize for on that shot either. No, that's the red 14, line that 15. I was talking about for Nishikori. He's going to have to try to get control of these points in a hurry. Saw a little opening and put it perfectly in the corner. Working his way back in this game. Turn and put it in an awkward part of the court. Djokovic could only watch it yes. sail by. A couple of just good returns off tougher serves and then great second shots in this game all of a sudden after the let court got him back in this game. Shikori looking to attack here on the second serve. He just took a few steps up. Ah. Looked 
a little like ping pong for a second. Uh, rallies, both players toe to toe, not really backing up much off the baseline and absolutely crushing ground strokes. And the intensity of some of these rallies has ticked up a notch. Thank you. As has the volume inside Arthur Ashe. Break point. <laughs> what a response. Joking with yes. asking for some love. He's had none in the tournament through the first two rounds. Not a little there just on the sheer brilliance. That wasn't. This was a decent return again. And watch him charge forward. It's and he was, in a, yeah, yeah, he was exactly the same spot, Jimmy, wasn't he? A couple he of points ago. Yeah, identical. This time he cleans up. Love again, even though that one was more on Nishikori. Is Nishikori brilliant attacking play and uh, could have done more with that backhand Djokovic. volley? Went to center and then really didn't have another place to hit that volley because he brought Djokovic to the center of the court. That made that one even more difficult. Yes. Oh, he's rolled the dice on the second serve. And has come up empty handed. That, again, to me, that's a sign that he's not confident in a conventional second serve when he hits 116 mile an hour second serve and misses it by 20 feet. Makes me feel as though he'll roll this second serve in. This is when Nishikori needs to look to attack again. Now he tried to go big and double faulted uh, again. Advantage. This Nishikori. is what happened to him against Rune in the second set. He had a break lead and all of a sudden threw in a couple double faults. Ended up with five double faults from that point on the rest of that set to lose the set in the tie break. So this first serve for Djokovic all of a sudden has some significance. Thank you. Again, will he just spin it in or is he going to try to bomb another? I would look for the spinner. that blinks and we are back on serve in set number three here Djokovic leads for games to three third set one set all <laughs> love 15 this particular story seems to have a little way to go Mm. 
We love that. He's taken some big cuts to the ball, isn't he? He is. I said he did have to redline it to get back in this match the way Djokovic had sort of found his footing. Maybe difficult to say pull the trigger when Djokovic is still in the center of the court. That ball maybe needed one more flick of an angle to give him some opening, some space to hit into. You're asking me for the first 15, serve on 30. return as we see a free point there from Nishikori. He's at 25% today, first serve unreturned. His opponent almost double that. Let for service. And that is one of the things when we talk about Medvedev, it makes him so difficult to beat because his serve, he's always winning that battle, seemingly. He makes returns, even when he's playing John Isner, Riley Opelka, he puts the return in somehow. Yep. And, and just the fact that you gotta win every point takes its toll on these players eventually. The old ghosts of the first set of coming back a little bit old. for Djokovic. The double faults, the missed backhands. Credit Nishikori, who's just keeping the pressure on. This would be a sum dig from Love 30. Did a good job there yes. because that little dig on the forehand from Nishikori found the line, skidded a bit, and allowed Nishikori to step into that two hander that he just missed. Let for service. Advantage, Djokovic. Depth to the return. Just suffocated Nishikori. Just didn't have the time that he wanted. Djokovic, in terms of break points, one today. Four from ten. He went after it, as he has done 
throughout the course of the match. But sadly for Nishikori on this occasion. Djokovic leads five games to three. He's failed to land it. No, no, that Third was seven. the right play as he keeps sort of messing with the court. Nishikori now after missing that ball. The only thing he did wrong was the ball got a little too close to his body. Not enough space. And maybe it was debris on the court that cost the bounce. I don't know. But... He had moved in so nicely and would have had a sitter forehand. As it is, he's broken. Djokovic a chance to serve for a two set to one lead. Fifteen love. Got to credit Djokovic after having lost his serve from 40 love lead. He sort of was able to shake that disappointment off. Gets the break right back. It was a good reset, wasn't it? Let's see if the second serve has been reset, because that is what let him down in his last service game. Something special from the best player in the world. 30 long. Right when he hit that one, it was going to be a winner. That was the extended yell, grunt combination we heard. I haven't seen a lot of those from Djokovic today. He's been using drop shot quite a bit lately. It wasn't the right time, and that's why he's hitting himself in the head. He wasn't really in control of the point. He was behind the baseline. A man who keeps his counsel. Or perhaps a man who senses things slipping away here. Well, and it's two times now where he had his opponent on the run and he had a short forehand, which he moved in for beautifully. Step forward, but missed them both. That one off the frame, a miss hit. Primal scream from Djokovic. Some reaction from the Grand Slam chasing Serbian here on Arthur Lash. Six games to three. It was a set away from the Sweet 16 here in New York. Djokovic leads right to sets to one. Let first service. Fifteen love.
59. match isn't he the Shikuri in the big picture he really has it's nice to see you see the 13 15 the reason he was a top five player in the world at, at one stage in his career hits the groundies as well as anyone and can take him as early as anybody oh. yeah this is the sort of tennis that could see him Back in the top 20 sooner rather than later. I feel like one of the problems for Nishikori nowadays is, and one of the reasons he has those close matches, is he can't dial it down against a player that maybe he doesn't need to hit mm -hmm. an inch from the line and a two inches over the net to beat. He, yep. can, he can get those margins a little bigger and still get through matches. And he'll occasionally lose to a player that's a little lower ranked than him because he keeps making some errors, going for the spectacular rather than the just very solid. Oh, that's great width. Beautiful power angle. 13, 14. Problem for Nishikori now is Djokovic is, is, is Djokovic again, at least for this match. Second serve with a little bit of angle to it more than you normally expect. And then that slide to his left, but also diagonally forward, taking a little time away. And he can do great work in the midcourt. Again, not pace. But advantage. Perfect placement. And again, the pace of the court helps the serve, doesn't it? Yeah. It's going to move off the surface. Yeah, Nishikori would be a guy that would be helped if they keep speeding up the hard courts. Mm. Nishikori. Way to get out of trouble, that was. First game, fourth set. For the 31-year-old who holds to start this fourth set. Busiest Arthur Ashe Stadium has been. I think in week one yesterday, I, in fact, I went out to watch the Alcaraz sit to best end of that match, but the top tier, certainly a lot of it is occupied today. Whatever amount of people were here for the Alcaraz Sissi Pass match, they were making some noise. And yeah, weren't they just? Fifth set tie break was bedlam. I suspect Sit Sebas might be pretty happy to get out of New York. <laughs> After the week he had. He was booed more than anyone in the tournament. No question about that. Any little Sit quickly, please. bathroom break called the trainer just to get some tape off. That was unacceptable to the crowd. <laughs> yes. Oh. 
I kind of love it. Been waiting for a villain. He's inadvertently become a villain. <laughs> Fifteen love. Thirty love. I would say because Ishikori has struggled putting returns back in play against Djokovic, changed court position a little bit on the return. Mm -hmm. Plays pretty close in. He's back now, but he'll come forward. And he's tr struggled with that 120 to 25 mile an hour T serve. Doesn't give himself a whole lot of time. Handled it well that time. Left. Left. For service. Remarkably, in the match in the Olympic Games just four weeks ago, he only won seven return points the entire match. Let. For Which goes along with the same thing I was sort of saying. He's not making a lot of returns. And obviously, Djokovic in that match, the, I only saw the highlights. The highlights mm. looked as though he didn't miss a ball. Mm. In fact, after seeing that match, I thought, and the score, I thought, 14, 15. Djokovic has got golden slam wrapped up already. Yeah, you no and plenty of others, I think. Yeah, no yeah. one's going to beat him. He's playing at a next level stuff. Hadn't won a match since until he got here in his first round. Out. Game, Djokovic. Precise serving. One game all, fourth set. Almost certain to. Eclipse Pete Sampras record as well as year end number one. Very unlikely that anyone will overtake him, but Sampras, of course, had six year end number one finishes. Djokovic going for seven. Daniel Medvedev has plenty of points to defend. beyond his way to one more, low. but Pete did have six straight years of number one, and that last one was was definitely in doubt till the end, and he worked hard the whole mm -hmm. fall to try to, I think it helped sort of end his career in some ways, Sampras, because that was strenuous for him. You yeah, remind us of the year, Jimmy, what year was that last one? 15 on. Yeah, that one's, it would be, yeah, no, I, I can't remember because I don't remember the year he won when he retired after winning the U.S. Open. It would have been a year or two before that last U.S. Open. Quick search engine tells us 1998. 30, 15. Was his last year in number one? Got to be a little disconcerting for him because when he retired, he had 14 majors and thought, "Well, got the record. That should stand for for a few decades." And then, seemingly a couple years later, there's three guys that blew past him. Yeah, there were a couple of guys about four junctions down the highway, 14, weren't they, 15. in the rear view mirror, and yeah. he was well gone. Yeah. 
It's amazing, actually, how quickly. It's just the domination of a handful of players over this last 15 years. Turning like that, 14, 30. and set the Serbian along his way. That's the danger of that wide serve. We've seen Nishikori use it pretty well in this match. He's won a lot of nice points where he's pulled Djokovic way outside the court. But if he hits it just three or four inches too close in, he's punished. Nishikori. Magnificent ball striking ball, from the Japanese. We have seen so much of that out here this afternoon. It's on serve, Nishikori early leads. stages two of the fourth. To one. fourth set. Djokovic by two sets to one. For a good portion of this match, he's kept it tight. Fifteen love. Slippery fingers. He was there for the taking. That's, <laughs> that's a tough break that the whole world sees you after you fumbled your opportunity. He did have a Heineken right in front of him. That might have contributed. Yes. I love seeing it, actually. This is more of a 1970s play. 13, where you see someone 15. in a little bit of distress, maybe slicing, and you just, even wherever you're from, you come flying in. There's no split step. You just come running in. He just maybe needed one step further in to make that volley a little more comfortable, but forces the opponent, when they're defending, to recognize, I've got to hit a sort of an aggressive shot when I'm in trouble. You can sneak some errors when they do that. Fourteen, fifteen. I like the fact that Nishikori's recognized, you know what, Djokovic early on was a little nervous, but now he's found his game. That was another quick look at Yoshi Nishioka. Now that he's found his game, I have to, I have to sort of surprise him. I have to go big, or I have to come forward. I got to make him feel uncomfortable. If I just play my normal game, he's 16 for 16. The last time, 16 times we played. Let's change something up. 14. That's it.
Outstanding second deal. Forced the defensive reply. And Djokovic Two games mops up. Fourth set. That was the best second serve I've seen him hit. Because it wasn't just that sort of bailout for him. Slice hard tee. He actually hit a nice kicker out wide. You go to usopen.org if you haven't already. You can also stay connected on social media with us as well, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Join the conversation with the hashtag US Open. finish from the best player in the world. I mean, 26 shot rally of all kinds of different 15. looks throughout that point. Different shots, variety, slice, and then when he looked to be in a little bit of trouble, just ropes a backhand down line winner. Crowd doesn't give him as much as it gives other players, so he, he has to ask for it, and it deserves. That was remarkable stuff. It deserved a roar. And if somehow Nishikori can't get out of this game, that point may have sort of broken this match open in a way. Just the way that Nishikori played about as good a point as he could play. Yeah, about a set and a half into this one. We looked at the rallies, one over nine, and of course Nishikori was up, but it's all changed now. He was up big at that point. Yeah, it's now 15 and to 14 in those rallies over nine. Nishikori still in front, but... Yeah. Oh, it's almost, you could sense that one Love point, that one 14. shot. They have broken Nishikori, he's got a... Gather himself, hope for a little bit of a letdown from Djokovic here. A couple of big serves to get him out of trouble. Yeah. Two of 11 break chances for Nishikori. Very difficult to overcome those type of numbers. Last one saved with a good serve. 15-14. Two punch. 30, 40. Shakuri fighting for his life out here. Let first service. Though, and consequently, the break is ensured. How decisive is it going to prove to be? Set. He's well on his way to, to, to the last 16. So, fans settling back in. How much more of this will they get to enjoy? Love 15. Sixth break of the Nishikori serve in this match. That's 
very fast. I can tell you that from Nishikori. I mean, I can see why he blows a tire every once in a while with that type of speed. Jokovic just peppers that line, it seems. And I would like to see if he would pepper it if Nishikori backed up a little bit, gave himself a little more time to track that down. Djokovic would probably be forced to serve wide a little more often. 14-15. One of his biggest serves of the day. Is that Belinda Bencic? Certainly is. A winner already. Game. Djokovic. Oh, Nishikori, we can't believe it. He thinks he has a mark. Mr. Nishikori is requesting a replay on the ball on left serve. He's going to get to see it again, but there's not going to be an overrule because there's machines calling the lines. We're using the electronic line system here this week. Oh, my word. Is that, is that really in? Four games to two, fourth set. Majority of it was out, that's all I know. But 99.999. I mean, I didn't see yeah. much that was in. Obviously on the sideline, but looked like it may have been very close to long. Mm, exactly. So often Nishikori would, as everybody else would, would be heading to Asia post US Open. We know that the Japanese has played well on the quick courts over there, but of course he'll be staying in the States going forwards in the short term. A new event in San Diego in a couple of weeks. 15 all. And Indian Wells will take place in the fall for the first time. Fifteen. Djokovic does such a good job of deep center returns. And of course had to hit that little half volley with pace a number of times and he's done it pretty well today. Desperately trying just to stay one break back. There it is again, that deep return right down the center. It's not easy to deal with. You kind of got to create some space, get away from it. Nothing that you can do with the next ball, really. And you're so aware that he's pressing you the yes. whole time, aren't you? Off it. So little breathing room. down his balance has been bad he's been nervous first couple of rounds it happened in the first set as well you saw it quite a few times that's gone away and now he's looking a little more like Djokovic the backhand usually so automatic yeah, he's cleaned some parts of his game up hasn't he, he has in the last three hours and 22 minutes that we've been out here break chance to 
to really salt this away. A seventh break of the Nishikori serve, surely a fatal one for the world Djokovic number one. It was 5-2 and a game away from the last 16. Serving to seal the deal. Law 15. It was certainly a tough opening couple of hours out here. You look at the score line and you're not sure it was that difficult. The third and fourth, the second and third sets, but they both of them went 50, above 50 minutes. That means a lot of long, tough games. Yeah. Both 50. of those two sets. This set's been a little more comfortable for, for Djokovic until this game of 30. He hasn't faced a break point in this set. Jaw-dropping stuff from both guys. I actually like what Nishikori did here, because this is a little exhibition-y sort of drop shot. Nishikori, oh, I'm going to take you out if you give me that junk. And great, <laughs> great reflexes from, Nishi from Djokovic. And then his leg actually slid out sort of awkwardly there. That would have hurt most people's knees, but he's made of rubber or something <laughs> didn't seem to cause his ACL any problems. Yes. Thirty all. Well, regardless of the result, the Shikuri can take plenty from today. He's tested the best. Oh. And he continues to do so. 30-14. Hasn't quite capitalized on the chances he's had, has he? Two from 12 yeah, in terms of break points today. He, you didn't think he'd get 12 chances to break, number one, but he had to convert when he did get chances, and that has not happened for him today. Advantage, Djokovic. He's been stretched to three and a half hours out here. But the world number one has got a match point. Yes. Oh, 
was a mighty wallop on the forehand and for a second. Djokovic sort of started taking a step forward as if the, the call came just a little late as if I, I'm going to shake hands now. Instead, he's got to go back to work. Advantage, Nishikori. Like the fight from Nishikori down two sets to one, two breaks, not giving it up without fighting. Here's another break chance. Let second service. Yes. Look at that stare. What is he staring at there? Because he sort of did that after the the fall down volley as well. Is it? I can't imagine Michael Chang's been heckling him when he's on that side of the court. He's, it looked as though he's looking at Nishikori's player box. Well, one thing's for sure, Advantage. some of the tempo Djokovic. that these rallies have been played at have been simply breathtaking. Bit of frustration on the part of the Serbian. He's on the cusp once more of the fourth round. Trying to serve it out, it's taken seven and a half minutes and counting. Advantage, Djokovic. Novak Djokovic takes another step three, six, towards two, one, the Grand Slam here six, in New seven, York. Six, three, six, three, six, two. It's three down and four to go. He sees off the challenge of Kei Nishikori. The Japanese was impressive today, but ultimately not quite up to the task. Djokovic is through in four. I think 